Hi, I am Teresa from Ward Science, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up item WLS29125, the Hoffman Electrolysis Apparatus. Now, I have already assembled one, and I will be using this to show you how to set up yours. The first step is to have the glassware lying on a tabletop and then connect the reservoir tube to the electrolysis tubes. Use the rubber tubing that is included to do this. Put the screw through the middle hole on the mounting panel on the side that is indented. Next, have the mounting panel lie on a tabletop facing up and attach the electrolysis apparatus to the mounting panel in the following way. This can be done by running cable ties or the clips that are provided through the holes on the mounting panel. Now if you are using the clips, the best technique would be to almost flatten them out and then pinch the ends together to feed them through the hole. Then on the other side of the mounting panel, flatten them out so that they are secure. Then, use the springs that are provided with the clips to support the electrolysis apparatus in place. As you can see here, we are using both the springs and the cable ties to support the apparatus. Then, insert the electrodes into the assembly. Then, assemble your ring stand and attach the apparatus to it using the clamp that is provided. Then connect the banana jacks to the mounting panel in the following order. So you start with your banana jack, followed by the following piece, followed by the, a nut, followed by a black connecting piece. And then this would go through the mounting panel. And on the back side, you put the other black connecting piece, followed by the washer, and then secure it all with the nut. And then you thread the wire from the electrode through the hole that is on the inside piece of the banana jack. From here, all you have to do is add your aqueous or water solution and connect a power supply through the banana jacks. As you can see, there are bubbles forming around the electrodes. This indicates that water is decomposing into oxygen and hydrogen gas due to the electric current that is being passed through it. In order to prove to your students that these gases are being produced, you can perform a wooden splint test. If the wooden splint stays lit and burns brighter, oxygen is being produced. If you hear a pop and see a flash when you put the glowing splint in, that means hydrogen is present. Thank you for watching how to set up and use a Hoffman electrolysis apparatus.